College basketball, Auburn's final game on this tour of Israel, presented by the Kansas City Outlaws, Menorah Arena in Tel Aviv, as Auburn, a couple of impressive... He plays like a guard. He plays in the NBA. Well, Denny Avdia plays for the Washington Wizards. He was the number nine pick of the Wizards in the 2020 draft. And like a lot of this team, he plays like a guard. Very skilled, plays on the perimeter, an excellent cutter and ball handler. With the exception of a couple guys on this Israeli national team that are for Dan Auburn disrupt the offensive rhythm of this Israeli national team. And last night, their defense was suffocating on the Israeli select team, a group of players in the Israeli professional league as Avdian hits a three for the first points of the night. Oh, on recovery mode. If you get them into scramble mode, it's going to be a bucket. And what Auburn does not want to do is give up threes. If they give up tough twos, that's fine, but not open threes. Zepp Jasper, shot clock winding down. And that'll be a violation. We're playing with a 24 second shot clock, international rules. A different basketball that they're using tonight. Texas star. Played briefly in the NBA, second round pick by the Pistons. Cannot open on the wing. And Abdiya tips the rebound free. Lining it up. Yamadar rattles in a three. You give them that many open opportunities. And really one of the keys in this game, Roxy, is going to be how Auburn guards the five man, the big guy, Zalmanson. Can they make him extend his catch and can they get pressure on him? That goes at the elbow for Yohan Treor. It's just like the last game against the Israeli select team where he got off to a great start. Good ball movement by the Israeli team and the lay in for Tomer Ganet. See, I think Dylan Cardwell is Line change is Bruce Pearl sending five guys out of the floor from the bench and the five that were on the floor heading to the pine as Jalen Williams hits a step back, the senior to be. Well, the fourth year player, Jalen Williams, the lefty, backed up Jabari Smith Jr. last year, Walker Kessler a bit. Ball movement, Yamadar in the corner, his second break. But what a clinic in passing. Anytime the ball goes in the paint, basically it's come back out to an open three. And Avdia could have taken that shot, but instead found a teammate in the corner. That's just beautiful basketball by the Israeli national team. Good pass. Jalen Williams attacks the basket, but it pops out. The trip here with the Auburn Tigers getting a free day around Tel Aviv tomorrow before going home on Wednesday. Off the inbound, right at the rim, and dropped home by Chris Moore. Wait, right, a really nice pass fake to set that up. Pass fake to the left, passing underneath the bucket to the right. It's good execution out of the timeout by Auburn. Roman Sorkin checks in, played his college ball in Oregon. As Yamadar steps in, and he's off to a great start. He has seven of the Israel's 12 points. Has played for Partizan Belgrade in the Adriatic League. There's a 47th pick of the 2020 draft of the Boston Celtics. And yeah, great leader for Bruce Pearl. Yeah, he, he is a, a vocal leader and does a really nice job defensively. He's got a really difficult three-point game. Jalen Williams luckily turned his head just in time. Katie Johnson, a three and we're tied. Too much time. Katie, who normally wears number zero, but wearing 25 on this trip. Roman Sorkin trying to power his way and finishes around. And Chase Westry giving a little bit too much space to Ziv. Lining up a three too strong from Guy Prinny, 38 year old veteran. On the drive, Katie Johnson, and the tip in by Chris Moore, who's had a strong. Can Auburn continue with the pressure and try to wear this team down? There are only nine players available. For this Wendell Green really Jr., team. nice drive. I think Bola set a little ball screen out. Wendell Green Jr., quick dart. And a pass over the wing and a three nailed by Zeb Jasper. Boy, what a stop and go move by Wendell Green. Jasper with another deflection off the switch and having to guard in the post. And he's one of the best defenders in college basketball. And the quick ball movement and a three knocked in by Nimrod Levy. 
tough step back from Broom. Here comes Vidar racing up the floor to three on one. Drops it off, Adia, and one. Well, that's what Bruce Pearl was concerned about, the transition of the Israeli national team. Got basically a three-on-one break, a little look-away pass from Yam Madar, and the finish, the foul by Donaldson. That's the 11th assist. Meat took us to a great restaurant last night. Yeah, uh, Meat Tamir is now my go-to restaurant recommendation guy in Tel Aviv. There's a three launch and a pretty stroke as Wendell Green Jr. seesaws Auburn in front. That's what he's capable of. But he can be a, a courageous scorer. And will oftentimes shoot from the logo, sometimes as Bruce Pearl scratching his head. But when those things go in, it's impressive. Yamadar launching. Fell, a chance for four. You cannot leave a three-point shooter. And Yamadar left open. You had to close. That's an older team that they're having to play against that knows what they're doing. Rattles out from Wendell Green Jr. But you can see just a little bit of a difference in the way the team's playing. When Auburn's got the ball inside and kick it out. A good steal. Great awareness by Wendell Green Jr. And Green will get to the line. Cannot caught him with the body. But a terrific job as Katie Johnson gets in there and stops the drive. It's just a great read of the play. Tel Aviv. The 2-3 zone now by Israel. And then they move to man when the ball goes inside. Room backing down. Step through. Got the roll. Nice touch. He's now done. saved by Katie Johnson. And Auburn controls, and the Tigers looking for the lead. The roll after the crossover, Wendell Green Jr. What a move. It looked like he picked his dribble up. Nye Broom spinning. Rattles out. The tip falls off from Moore. And the loose ball, nice Nola pass. Chance Westry to Chris Moore, who rams it home. Well, Janai Broom had the, the sophomoric humor of the wedgie. <laughs> Chris Moore again. He's had a he might run for prime minister before <laughs> it's all said and done. He feels that Israel is as good as any league in the world to play in after playing in the NBA. Loose ball. Here comes Israel. Denny Abdia. 50 50 falling out of bounds to keep that alive. Ball was loose. They got it ahead to Avdia. Finishes with the right hand. That's all. Right. Comes up short. Here comes Yam Madar. Well, Israel really scrambling. Double teaming the ball. Great cut by Madar. Open is Tomer Ganat. And the offensive rebound by Yadon Zalmanson. Avdia, three. Best time to shoot a three after an offensive rebound. And Auburn getting back into a little bit. Out. Largest lead of the night for the Israeli national team. Off balance, the runner from Tomer Ganat. Here comes Auburn racing and countering back the other way. Spin, Alan Flanagan, and one. Pretty move by Flanagan. His first points tonight. And that's what Auburn in the half court. It's going to be advantage Israel. That's where they're dangerous when they can get a turnover or after the rebound, after Wendell Green. What a matchup. Madar going against the best perimeter defender on this Auburn team, Zepp Jasper. Roman Sorkin, the drop step to the basket. Well, if you're going to, and that's where they can get easy baskets. Yeah, Madar clears the Flanagan miss. Abdia down the lane. Just too easy. I mean, that's just an easy drive of the closeout. And you can't give up middle like that. But we're seeing Israel, they're passing, and then with the skill level and their size, the immediate drive of the closeout, Auburn just by Prinny not to give it up to him. A little 2-3 zone right now for Auburn. Back door, and a slam, the reverse. Denny Abdia, 25. Boy, just beautiful passing and cutting.
We're seeing firsthand why Opti went the top ten of the NBA draft. Well, it was just a guy who knows how to play. Passed right into the middle. Janai Broom had to come up, didn't get enough pressure on the passer. Janai Broom in the key. Rolls in Ooh. for Janai Broom. Well, he, he is. Alan Flanagan playing with four. Dylan Cardwell on the bench with four for Auburn. Well, this has been a tough matchup for Wendell Green Jr. having to go against Avia. Created space, and he gets the three to go. Well, that was a, a good job attacking the closeout. Avdia had to get him in the corner and just sidestep to get that shot. Now he's got a Wendell Green Jr.'s got a guard down to the post again. The other end answering is Nimrod Levy, his second right here. Pull up. Nice, pretty stroke from Trey Donaldson, his first Doesn't point. mean you're good. They're tall. That doesn't mean they're good. It's not like they're Kylie Irving. <laughs> and I lost it. Katie Johnson in the tip in, Janai Broom. And we. As Adia in. Now Madar back in. Pick and pop with Cohen. That's a deep two from Jake Cohen. When you. <laughs> Good flare. Avdia leading Jake Cole in the reverse. Avdia, offensive foul. What a great job by Wendell Green Jr. Avdia wanted to shoot over him and decided to drive it. But Green Jr. had leverage. He just stayed lower, got up underneath him, moved his feet. It's a big time defensive play. Working on him. Got to go. Down the lane, hanging and challenged by Avdia. A really good job by Avdia to keep his body away from Green Jr. Jake Cohen runs the floor for Israel. The leaner. Zip Jasper gets knocked down. Bodies go crashing everywhere. Advantage. Avdia the drop. Roman Sorkin can't convert, but Jake Cohen does. Just a was the guy that wound up with the bucket. What a pass by Madar. That is just big time. Just beautiful to watch. That looked like a, a volleyball set. Well, what's that? Never game? sticks with these guys. Got a double team. Auburn had it down to two. It's now a 10 point game with three and a half to go. Janai Broom. Much needed hoop. I always ask, well, how, how could he shoot the free throw? He shouldn't give him the ball until everybody was ready. Offensive rebound, Chris Moore. Broom the tip oh. in. The productivity had a Moorhead State to the SEC. I think those questions have been answered. Now he just intercepted the long pass from Avdia. And Avdia is fouled out with 2.44 to go, and he's in disbelief. Well, I don't know why he even went after that. Just leave it alone. Still trying to plead his case over there on the bench in frustration. But a smart play by Wendell Green Jr. to go into his body. Look, was that a ton of contact? Johnson the drive and a quick dart to the basket. 19 now for Madar at 14 in the first half. Seven point game. Tonight Broom floats it up and in. Wrapped it in the second round by the Celtics in 2020. Poked away by Janai Broom. Down seven. Wendell Green Jr. The tip. Yoan Treor. And it pinballs out to Guy Prinny for Israel. Several point blank chances. Roman Sorkin finishes. And yeah, that's demoralizing. You have so many chances, then give up a dunk on the other end. But there's still time for Auburn. Nine point game. Janai Broom. From the angle. But he 
Ben's dangerous off that little flex cut when he can duck in or pop back out. And if he can make that 15, 17 footer, he's a weapon out there. Game where Israel has shot 46 free throws. And they're up seven. And the lob back door, Roman Sorkin. Yeah, Janai Broom just got, got the ball watching while Sorkin, who he doesn't consider to be a three point threat, was in the corner. And just a back cut for an easy bucket. After that dunk of Caleb Tarzuski's watching from Arizona, he might be having flashbacks of Roman Sorkin threw one down on him back in the day. Well, even though Auburn's going to drop this last game, well, this is a great learning experience for this Auburn team. They just played a, a team that knows how to play, and Yamadar puts an exclamation point on this win for the Israeli national team. 12 point lead matches the largest as the Israel trip coming to a close for Auburn at 2 and 1. I know it's frustrating to lose the ball game, but a great challenge against an international team that has a lot of talent. And overall, just a wonderful experience for Auburn as Seth Jasper hits the three. Yeah, I think Auburn's going to look at this as a, a great chemistry building trip. They played some excellent basketball here. They just ran into a team of big time pros that 